Today, we've got the all new Navita UDN. This is the all-in-one portable navigation device from Navita. This is designed as the successor to the old UD, which has been around for nearly 20 years. It's a portable navigation device designed to be used between aircraft. You can take it around with you. You can charge it at home, bring it to the airfield, load your tasks uh, and just go flying. So let's take a look inside the box. At the top, we've got the UD safely packed in its case. We'll come back to that. Under this bit of cardboard, this model is the UDN IGC. So what that means is it's an IGC approved logger, which you can use for claiming your badges, claiming records, or flying competitions. And this is the calibration chart that you need for that. And then looking in the bottom of the box, we've got lots of accessories. So we've got the Navita Universal Cradle, really useful for mounting in the glider. We've got the standard arm, USB-C charging cable. We've got a really good quality sucker mount, which is useful for mounting on the canopy. We have a European plug adapter. And in the UK, we've also got a UK plug adapter. And buried right at the bottom of the box, we've got the SIM card tool. The UDN can take a SIM card, which is really useful for getting 4G data to the device. That means you can get weather maps in flight. Okay, let's take a look at the device. Look at that shiny screen. This is the all new UDN IGC. You can see it's got a really, really nice big high resolution screen. You'll see that when I turn it on. At the top here, we've got a camera. This is useful for scanning QR codes and sharing tasks. At the bottom, we've got the USB-C port and we've got the SIM card slot and an LED status light. On the back, we've got the device sticker with the serial number. So let's turn it on. Immediately when it turns on, you can see how high resolution the display. If you've ever used one of the older UDs, that's one of the most prominent upgrades. The UDN runs on the Android operating system, which means it's just like using a smartphone. When the device boots up, it automatically boots into CU Navigator. That's Navita's navigation software. That software is also available on smartphones, whether that be Apple or Android. When this boots up, it boots into the parameters page where you can set the glider type, your home airfield. You can create or load a task or download one from Soaring Spot. Under the devices tab, if you connect it to your FLAM, you'll start getting FLAM data appear on the map. Later on, they're planning to upgrade the functionality so that you can get barometric data from your Vario. That will make the wind and final glide calculations much more accurate. They're also working on a task declaration function. That means you can declare the task straight from the UDN to your variometer. To go to the map, we just press the map icon on the top right. And now you can see we're ready to go flying. To zoom in, you can do so just like a smartphone. To recenter, you press on the bottom left. You can pan around the map just by dragging it like a smartphone. You can interrogate any piece of airspace just by tapping it. You can press and hold any point on the map if you want to navigate to it. This display is completely configurable. This is my personal navbox layout. You can also have multiple screens. So this is what I call my racing screen. If I want to switch to my assigned area screen, I can just do so by tapping that button. In the top right of the screen, we've got a layers button. And this can configure the type of map that we see. We can also configure whether we want to see FLAM targets on the display. OGN means that it downloads OGN data, which means that as long as you're in range of a 4G signal, you'll be able to see FLAM targets all over the world, dis display on your map. The airports page is really useful for seeing local landing points. And there are many other map overlay options here. Okay, and going to the menu, down here we've got the logbook where we can see our previous flights. 
And then in the bottom right, we've got the settings page. This is where you can configure the device to behave exactly how you like it. So as I mentioned, CU Navigator is uh, an app that's available in any app store, whether that be Apple or Android. And what I tend to recommend for people considering the UDN is download that software onto your phone first and go flying with it. Get used to it, have a play uh, and see if you like it. Once you've got the hang of using CU Navigator on your mobile phone, you'll probably find that the battery life is not great or that the screen's not bright enough or clear enough. The other problem with phones is quite often they'll overheat, especially if you're, if you're having to charge it in flight. And that's where the UDN can be really useful. The IGC option means that you've then got an IGC approved flight recorder. Really useful if you're flying multiple gliders. You can just take your UDN with you. You've got the navigation and the IGC function all in one device. That's the UDN. Stay tuned for more videos.